Good evening and welcome to this, the QHS Virtual Sixth Form. What are your aspirations? What do you want to do when you go into the world of work? Perhaps you want to be creative, solve problems. Maybe you want to help and support in the medical profession. Do you want to get stuck into hard legal problems or indeed go into politics? Do you like working within a team or do you prefer to be leading a team? What about working outdoors or indoors or working with animals? Do you want to study and work abroad? Are you looking to go into academia or the world of business? Perhaps you want to be an engineer. The likelihood is you don't really know. And that's fine. In fact, that's normal. The Financial Times a couple of years ago ran an article where researchers show that people going into the world of work now are likely to have around five careers on average uh, before they retire. So actually, even the career you're thinking about now is not automatically going to be the career that you have for the rest of your working life. They gave the example of um, a young lady in her early 50s who was um, just about to go into the legal profession, having just qualified as a lawyer. She started by doing a degree in the arts and then actually went into academia and lectured at universities in the arts for quite some time. She then started curate, curating um, art and galleries and museum exhibitions, and that led to work right across Europe. Within that work, she got talking to artists, and artists were worried about their intellectual property. And she started researching about intellectual property law. And now you can see the link. That led on to a career, a change of career again into the legal profession. So actually, Knowing what you want to do now or not being sure about what you want to do now is perfectly normal. So if you're not sure, then you need to work out, you need a good foundation, sorry, upon which to build. And of course, academic A-levels provide that firm foundation. They're recognised by universities, by employers, by higher level apprenticeship providers, in fact, by everybody as being a gold standard for judging whether somebody's going to be capable of studying at that particular level or somebody's going to manage to cope with the demands of a particular job that they're applying for. Every single one of our teachers is qualified in, to, to degree level in the subject that they are teaching at A level. Not every post 16 provider can say that. In fact, according to research on the, um, in 2018 by the Office of National Statistics, only 85% of maths teachers, 89% of English teachers, 75% of physics teachers and 45% of computing teachers even had an A-level themselves in the subject that they were teaching at A-level. Here we can say that 100% of the teachers having a degree level qualification in the subject they're teaching. There aren't many places that can say that. It's certainly not in this geographical area. At A-level, we are equally selective with other A-level providers. So our students are as able as other providers in the area, in fact, nationally. And yet, when you look at the results that our students get, they are significantly higher than other providers. That's down to the expert and outstanding teaching that we provide. But the qualifications are only half the story. I often say that the qualifications will get you to an interview, but they won't get you the job or the apprenticeship or the opportunity. What will get you that is the wider experience that you've got to bring to that employer or to that university. And QEHS gives you loads of opportunities to, find, to, to really enrich your experience and take all of that experience to your interview. You can be part of the leadership teams in school. You can become a prefect. We have year seven prefects. We have prefects that work in, in various other um, parts of the school. Then of course we have the senior team of prefects who help the school, help their leadership team and the teachers in managing the school. The head boy and head girl, the, very, the, the leaders of that leadership team of prefects, are also governors. So actually student voice is a key part of what we offer here in terms of the way we strategically run the school. The head boy and head girl have full voting rights on the governing body. If that's not of interest to you, we of course have lots of ex extracurricular activities going on. You can be part of STEM club or music or drama or the art, or indeed you can be in the cooking club, or there's lots of other opportunities for you to get involved in the school to build up that portfolio of experience and make yourself the candidate that everybody wants post 18. Gaining great A-levels, of course, isn't quite enough. 
which is why you need those experiences to help you get further and get those really competitive places wherever it is you want to go, be that university or apprenticeship. In fact, if you recall that list of things I talked about at the beginning of this talk, we have students in the past that's gone and done all of those and more besides. For example, Danny has just completed her doctorate in quantum physics, which she's completed at a university in Australia. We have students who um, have gone on to, to great things in terms of their acting uh, careers, and we'll talk about that um, in a minute. Sidesh, who was a guest speaker a couple of years ago and an alumnus of the school, he went into law, decided he wanted to work abroad, and he'd ended up as a professor of law working in Manhattan in New York. This year, our guest speaker, Rebecca, was a successful actress in the West End, uh, and she made an amazing career based on her experience here in school. So really, anything you want to do is available if you're willing to put the work in and we can provide the support. If your passions lie beyond what we offer in school, we'll help you to keep them going as well. So in the past, we've had um, uh, students who have been part of the Taekwondo Team GB, which competed in the Olympics, and also people going for places in Team GB in athletics and in archery. I said I'd mention a student a few years ago left us who had a successful acting career on TV. And by working with him and his family and his teachers, we managed to ensure that the acting career flourished as well as him getting the academic qualifications he needed. So all of that is available to you. And I'd encourage you to watch the rest of this open evening video to gain a better understanding of what we have to offer. And please don't let the potential cost of things put you off, such as transport. We receive funding from the government, which we can distribute called um, the bursary. And you can apply for that, and that can help with the cost of textbooks, cost of transport, and anything else you might need support with in terms of studying. So, if it's A-level study that you're looking for, we're the experts. It's what we specialise in, and QHS is absolutely the place for you, both region locally and regionally. Outstanding teaching delivered by expert teachers in an environment rich with opportunities is what awaits you in September 2021. And I look forward uh, to the school seeing you join them then next year. Enjoy the rest of the evening. Bye bye.